So we'll discuss about uh, stroke management. Suppose a patient comes to you with stroke, acute stroke. So you should understand the window for thrombolysis. Window for thrombolysis as far as now is less than 4.5 hours. But there has been new updates and new studies where they are taking late, with late window thrombolysis after 4.5 hours. That is based on CT perfusion image. But still now it is not there in the guidelines, but it will soon come up. So, late window thrombolysis has been studied and been uh, evaluated in multiple studies right now. In last year that has been released, where they had lysed the patient based on CT perfusion image, not a plain CT, not a normal CT, perfusion based analysis. So, at present you should understand that at now the window period is less than 4.5 hours from the onset. So, if the patient comes to you within a window period of 4.5 hours from the onset, you should Evaluate the patient first. So, what all things you will do in the casualty as an investigation? You should do minimum investigation. First is, first and foremost is you should anal analyze the generalized status, GCS score, vitals, that is there for any patient. For stroke specifically, you should score a score known as NIHSS score. NIHSS score should be calculated because your entire decision is going to be based on this score. Your license, your inter intervention, everything is based on this score. The second thing you should do is a GRBS or uh, glucometer based RBS that is GRBS a rapid RBS testing should be done because hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia should be corrected before lysis especially hypoglycemia can mimic a stroke then third thing you should do is a blood pressure and fourth thing you should do is a imaging these are the only thing required be prior to thrombolysis and it is stating that ECG tropi may be done but it should not delay your decision for thrombolysis so, you take a CT, take a, see the patient, GCS score, NIH score, GRBS, blood pressure, then you shift the patient for imaging. So, the next question comes, what image you should do? You have CT, you have MRI, what imaging you should do? That is the next, next question. Then you have additional imaging like CT angio, MR angio or angiographic imaging as a whole or you have perfusion studies like MRI and CT perfusion. These are the additional images you have. So, Initially, there is within 6 hours, less than 6 hours on the onset, you don't need any additional imaging as per the guidelines. Any additional imaging. If for after 4.5 hours, you are not lysing the patient. But after 4.5 hours, you will take for thrombectomy intervention. At that time also, if the patient is within 6 hours, there is no need of any additional investigation like a perfusion is not needed. Perfusion is needed if it is more than 6 hours or in certain special scenarios. That I am not going to mention because that is not for you, that is for a practicing neurologist. So, uh, for a CT or MRI, CT versus MRI, which one to choose? That is the next question. So, the guidelines tell there is no, no, no need of MRI. CT based protocol is enough because your aim is to rule out bleed. And second is to find out a score known as aspect score on. CT. The third is to see the angiogramic image. These are the basic ideas. So, you no need of an MRI. You should directly go with CT will be enough because a MRI is again time taking procedure. It will you will waste half an hour while CT, CT angiogram you can do it in maximum 5 minutes or 10 minutes you can finish it off. So, take a CT, rule out bleed, stroke is a clinical diagnosis. It is not an image based diagnosis. CT will be normal in acute stroke. Why I am stressing it? Because the students who are listening to this may not be med medicine graduates, MD medicine graduates. So, many has an assumption. I used to get a call from a casualty many times. Uh, like some patients will have some stroke in gynec ward or surgery ward. And I will ask them to get an emergency CT. They will get a CT and, uh, they, and then suddenly uh, they will ring me up and call tell me that, sir, that we have done a CT. There is no infarct. I am doing CT in acute surgery, no to see the, no to see the infarct. I am doing CT to load bleed. Or any other ICS oil, intracranial lesions are there. If those are not there, I will, I am happy, well and fine. I will go for thrombolysis. So, then you should go for thrombolysis. So, next question is regarding the angiogram. When should I take the angio? When should I take the angio? So, the what guidelines tell is angio at the earliest possible. And that means that you should not, suppose a patient comes to you within a window of 4 hours, 15 minutes. You should take a CT, lie the patient there itself. Do not, no need to wait for an angio. And you can do angio later. But, 
if the patient is in good window period like at one hour two or three hour angio may take maximum of extra two or three minutes you can finish an angio in that time so always better to go with ct ct angio or mr mr angio with angiographic image but if time is less in permits ct and angio at the earliest possible at the early possible time that is soon after license you take an angio sometimes even during license they may take an angio especially when you give a tenalty place you give a tenalty place take angio if time is not there because tenalty place bolus mri also if you are doing mri with mri is always better but angiographic imaging should always be there in your plan without angio there is no treatment for uh, stroke so if patient comes to stroke first thing is ct imaging with ct and angio is if you are not able to do at emergency basis do ct lies a patient emergency angio after lysis okay clear either it is mr angio ct angio ideally the angio should cover the neck also okay ideally angio should cover the neck also and uh, this is known as nhs score there has been question repeatedly from this scoring area the, so you should know how to assess the initial part especially level of consciousness three levels level of consciousness questions plain level of consciousness and level of questions command the question came from these three topics two questions came one in ina and one in uh, neat so level of consciousness plain level of consciousness alerted by c you are seeing and seeing the seeing and making a response so this patient is alert not alert but by aerosol minor stimulation not alert but aerosol by repeated stimulation unresponsive uh, only with reflex so that is how you guys one two and three the question asks for loc q and loc commands loc q you will ask only two question what is the age and what is the month what is the age what is the month this is very very important this has been asked twice very very important the level of consciousness questions includes what is your age and what is your month okay and level of commands includes close your eyes uh, grip and release your hand close open your eyes grip and release your hand this is simple commands and this also you should buy her this is uh, among the entire nhs these three three things you should know because question asked from that area okay so best language this are there are 11 and total score of 42 that also you should know 11 questions 11 items you will check and total score of 42 okay and a score less than 5 is known as minor stroke and minor stroke can be disabling minor stroke or non disabling minor stroke non disabling minor stroke non disabling minor stroke a stroke more, uh, uh, more than 25 has a poor prognosis can be predicted or a poor prognosis can be partially predicted but this is not an absolute score and NHS score is better to calculate for anterior circulation not that much useful for posterior circulation that is one defect of NHS scoring and if the score is more than 10 it has a high sensitivity for large vessel high sensitivity for large vessel particular score is high large vessel is more likely so these are the major thing is minor stroke you should know okay and uh, checklist before 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 your lysis there's an indication indication basically three things age more than 18 so pediatric group no lysis indication pregnant lady no definite indication clinical diagnosis of stroke with disabling deficit onset less than 4.5 hours this is a new thing not a new thing it came in 2017 a study known as wake up study based on that the patient comes to you uh, getting up from the uh, sleep patient went to sleep at 10 p.m in the night morning 6 a.m he woke up with right side weakness and coming to you in the casualty so right now you don't know what is exact onset of stroke previously till 2017 we used to not lie said patient because you don't know the exact onset right now we use some protocol known as diffusion flare mismatch so the thing you should understand is whenever there is a clinical history given that the patient had a stroke while waking up from the blood i mean waking from the bed never do a ct based protocol go for an mri based protocol this is a definite indication for mri in a acute stroke otherwise other other scenarios are not a definite indication for mri ct is enough clear so have an unclear on time of onset. The patient doesn't know the exact onset or uh, onset of time. And last seen normal uh, is within 4.5 hours. If the patient woke up at 6 a.m. with weakness and slept by 10 p.m. and a patient comes to you by 1 p.m. on the next day, this is already more than 4.5 hours from the onset from woke up. So that is uh, you cannot lie this patient. But if the patient comes to you by 10, you don't know the exact onset of time. Such scenario you should do. An MRI and see diffusion flare mismatch. That means the, the stroke will be initially formed in the diffusion. DW images, stroke is there, but flare, there is no, no infarct. That means it is hyperacute. Flare, no signal genes are noticed. That is known as diffusion flare mismatch. Such condition you can lies if NIHS is less than 25 and less than one third of MCA territory. If the stroke is less than one third of MCA territory and NIHS is 
less than 25. If the NIH is high, if they are given a clinical scenario, similar wake up stroke, but NIH is given as 26, should not write the answer as lysis because lysis is contraindicated. And if they are shown an image which shows more than one third, more than half, half of the MCA territory is involved, then uh, you should not lyse a patient in a wake up stroke, not in other stroke. It is, this is, this criteria is used for wake up stroke protocol. Okay, clear.